Hi there, today I'm going to share with you the techniques I use for manifesting money to grow my business. I'm going to share with you my three favorite techniques that I actually do to manifest money and grow my business as well. And I'm going to share three critical tips to help you gather momentum so that manifesting money isn't just something you do, but it's somebody you become. And if you want to catch more videos like this with tips and tricks for manifesting money to grow your business, then make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell. Okay, if you've been hanging out with me for a while, it'll probably come as no surprise that with these techniques, we're going to cover the entire magnetic money trifecta, the way you feel, the way you think, and the things you do, because that determines what you manifest, what your mindset around money is, and how you manage your money. After all, this is the key to manifesting money, growing your business, and getting to a point where you no longer worry about money. Okay, let's talk about the first technique I use for manifesting money to grow my business. This one is all about how I feel, which helps me with manifesting more money to grow my business. And what I do here is I focus on the abundance that I do have. One of the most critical elements in this journey is that you learn to train your focus because your focus trains your vibration. Where your attention goes, your energy flows and what you focus on expands. And whatever you focus on, trains your vibration. If I'm focused on what's going really well in my life, I'm going to feel really good. My vibration will lift. And if I focus on what's going really badly in my life, I'm going to feel quite sad and upset and my vibration will drop. So focusing on the abundance I do have helps me attract and manifest more money because it trains my vibration to match the vibration of abundance and like attracts like. That's what law of attraction is all about, right? So the way that I do this is that I keep an abundance journal. And at the end of every day, I write in it all the abundance that I got to experience that day, all the abundance that flowed into my life that day. It includes the ideas, the inspiration, the clients, the experiences, and yes, the money that I had come to me that day. It helps me realize how abundant my day really was. And as I focus on that, it trains my vibration on that. And that gathers momentum and makes me magnetic to more. I also make sure that I notice and write down the progress that I made and all the tasks that I completed and achieved so that I can feel really good about what I'm doing in my business and what I'm doing in my life. I write down all the things that made me feel abundant that day, that I got to go for a walk, that I got to play a game with my daughter, that we got to go shopping or go for a coffee together. All these things, all these little snippets of abundance, they all go in that journal. So this helps me feel really satisfied and really abundant. And I let that dominate my vibration. I let it dominate the way I feel about myself, my life and my business. And as you do this regularly, you'll start to notice that you start doing it as you go throughout the day. You feel abundant as things happen. You start to notice and celebrate all the little snippets of abundance that are constantly flowing into your life. And it starts to become your new normal. Okay, let's move on to the next technique that I use for manifesting money to grow my business. This one is all about making sure that I keep noticing my thinking when it comes to my business and my income. And this can be really tricky because apparently we have up to 80,000 thoughts a day. What I want to know is who the hell's ever counted them? So 80,000 thoughts a day, track them, notice them. Yeah, thanks, Miriam. Good luck with that. But I have a hack for you. All you need to do is track your income. So the way this looks for me is that every single morning I sit down with my cup of tea and I have a special notebook and I track my income. I count all the money that flowed into my bank accounts over the previous 24 hours. And what this is guaranteed to do is it's going to flush up any limiting beliefs, any fears and any money worries really damn fast, which is great because then you can deal with them. And so later on, I'll just sit down and if anything pops up, I'll journal on it or I use my money blockbuster system. I'll pop the link in the description for you for that and other processes that I have that we use in the magnetic money program to shift blocks and limiting beliefs. The key is to do this every single day no excuses because the excuses are money blocks showing up. So for example, if you catch yourself thinking, well, I know I didn't really make any money in the last 24 hours. So what's the point of sitting down with my notebook? Write that down. What's the point of tracking money when no money's coming in? What's all that about? 
Okay, moving on to the next technique that I use for manifesting money to grow my business. And this one is all about taking care of my money and giving every single dollar a job to do. I already track my income daily. And then once a week, I sit down and I allocate my money and I split it all up and I move it into my various buckets. That's a practice that we do in the Magnetic Money Program. So every bucket represents a purpose of money. And I'll do this once a week. Every single dollar gets a job to do. This helps you keep your wealth creation on track and ensures that you maintain financial stability. It also helps you feel in control and really connected to your money. And that builds confidence. And then the other thing that I do is that every couple of weeks, I'll have a money date with Martin, where we sit down and we review our money goals, our strategy, and we celebrate our progress. Now I do other things too, but if I have to break it down and just pick my top three that really make a difference, these are the ones. And as I mentioned, one of each of these represents one of the cornerstones of the magnetic money trifecta. Because here's the thing, the key to ensuring you get traction and that you build momentum so you can be manifesting income to grow your business is number one, making this not a once off or sometimes process, but an ongoing process so that you keep that wheel spinning. So you keep that trifecta spinning and all the parts supporting one another. And so that you gather and build momentum. Number two, knowing that this gets easier and much more natural over time until it just becomes your new normal. Number three, making sure that you're always, always, always checking in on all three cornerstones of the magnetic money trifecta. This is when manifesting money isn't just something you do, but it is somebody that you become. This is when you become a whole new version of you, the abundant version of you, who knows there's always plenty of money and is always attracting more money in because you're consistently tapping into law of attraction to build momentum, which means that money can keep flowing in ever increasing amounts. The version of you who clears their money blocks easily and routinely as you go so that the journey is smooth and easy and you stop pushing money away all the time. And the version of you who feels confident and in control of your finances. So you never worry about money again. And if you're ready to take this journey with me as your money mentor, then come join us in the Magnetic Money Program. Just click the link in the description because it's time for you to take that next step and embrace your unlimited potential so you never worry about money again.